Hello guys, it's Adam here, or Twitch Gaming, and this is my new series, Faster Than Light. It's an indie game by Subset Games, you may have heard of it, you may have seen some videos on it, but it's a roguelike spaceship command game where you go until you die, and it's not designed to be beaten unless you're a pro. So, let's go. New game. You can, uh, as you can see here, let's put the difficulty down to easy to do that straight away. Uh, let's rename our ship. I'm going to call it Serenity, which is a reference that most of you should get. And my people are going to be called not Kevin Fish. I'm going to call them Reynolds. Okay, that doesn't fit. Well, fuck! I forgot that. Fucking put Mal. Uh, let's have Mal. Let's have Wash. And let's have. Let's have is it Zoe, the woman? The black woman? Wash's wife? Whatever. Those are our three crew members anyway. As you can see we have subsessions. This game you can unlock loads more ships. I've already unlocked the energy cruiser. But it's a piece of shit so we're not going to use that. There's loads more that you can unlock by playing more of the game. You can also uh, fuck, you can also unlock new types of your existing ship by completing challenges. Um, here. I haven't got any of them. I'm pretty bad at the game. I shall soon see. So let's go. The data you're carrying is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, auto-fire. Auto-fire will let your weapon maintain its targets. Just keep an eye on your missile count. So, as, as you can see, this is the map. This is how you jump from section to section. These are the waypoints, or whatever they're called, beacons, and so on. And we have to get to the exit and then into the next sector. As you can see, we're in sector 1, which is the civilian sector. After that, there could be rebel sectors, alien controlled sectors, anything. The rebel fleet will slowly make its way from this end to that end, and we have to get, I don't even know if you can see my cursor, from the left to the right, and we have to get the exit for them, otherwise bad things happen to us. The aim of the game is to get to sector 8, and then the, the, when you'll get there, there is a boss battle against the rebel mothership, which is hard as fuck. So, yeah, I haven't won that ever, I've got to it once. So let's just let's get on and jump. Scans reveal an oil, oil, yeah, an oil refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs detected. Right, so that was a peaceful jump. No fighting, no event, no nothing. Hopefully I'll get some combat to show you soon. Especially well on pirates she approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest can go free. Draw straws and send a crew member or we will never surrender. We will never surrender. Never go up, never surrender, etc. Let's go. And pause the game instantly with spacebar. Fuck, this guy is quite well armed. As you can see, I'm going to yeah, power up my weapons. So I've got burst laser at his shields, and missiles at his weapons. Put auto fire on. Uh, and, oh shit, I just realised. Zoe, you go on shields. Uh, Mal, you go on weapons. Wash, you stay piloting because that is your job. And if you've ever watched Firefly or Serenity, you should know that. That fucking drone is going to be causing some difficulties. Let me take out my shields consistently. I might try taking out the drone control soon. Oh, the shield's down. Let's retarget that with the drone control. And this is basically the extent of the game, so if you don't find this exciting, don't watch. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Anyway, so I can either accept their offer and I get an extra crew member instantly, or I can reject their offer, kill them, and get scrap and fuel and missiles and whatever else from their abandoned carcass. But I will be killing the slaves. So I'm going to accept their offer, take one of their slaves, realize my oxygen is actually damaged and I'm losing oxygen, so I'm going to repair that. And, ooh, no, Jerick. This is a, this is a, uh, this is an NG, I think. Yep. 
and the NG are exceptional engineers and they repair at double speed but they are not very good in hand to hand combat which we'll see if anyone pretty soon boards our ship people have to fight them with guns and fists and whatever else they have so he's going to stay in the engine and he's going to repair anything that gets damaged because he repairs at double speed now let's jump to the next sector I can go back to the store and use scrap at the store but I don't have a lot so next set, next beacon I have not got a timer on this, so I could cut out at any point, but I'm going to try not to. At first it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind a planet and hails you. Aha! I am the Dread Pirate Duco, prepared to die. Uh, I don't know if the fact that he's named means anything particular, or if it's just a random event. Let's do this. He's probably going to kill me. Uh, let's do shields and weapons again. Uh, the game does get quite repetitive until the later levels when fights get a lot more interesting. Or you could get fucked over and get a really hard fight really early on. You don't want that bloody good hits there. Let's stop targeting the Artemis because you don't want to waste missiles. You can see I only have five left. And let's just keep shooting at him. Take down his hull and he will blow up. This is the awkward part of the game where there's a standoff between the two. Ooh, he's just repaired his weapon systems, but it's too late. Explosions. I don't know how balanced the audio levels are going to be for this. I'm just using fraps. I can't bother using Audacity or any other third party voice recorder. Also, my voice is a bit fucked at the moment because I have a mouth ulcer on my tongue and I can't really speak properly and I also have a bit of a cold. So I'll be a bit nasal. Oh well. Fuel 1, missiles 2, and scrap. Let's see if I can upgrade anything on my ship. Uh, for starters, I'm going to need more power bars, and that must be now to 10 scraps, so I'll keep that like that. More power bars means, as you can see, I can now power up all my weapons and my engines, and I'll still have a power bar left for anything that I need if I upgrade it in the future. Obviously, I'm not going to go around with powered up missiles in case I end up accidentally firing one and losing the missile, which would be a shame. Nebulas, which are these pink things you can't see in, your sensors don't work and they're just a general hassle, but they will slow down the rebel fleet, which is this red thing on the left. So it's a risk if I'm going there or not. Here is a automatic rebel scout ship. I will defend the outpost and fight him. This guy's pretty weak. I don't even think I want to waste missiles on him. Probably going to regret that when he kills me, but I won't. Let's target his shields straight away. This guy won't be able to repair himself either because he's automated to drone. So he doesn't have anyone to send into a repair bay. Now it's no shields and target his weapons. Um you can just shoot um Mal, that would be fantastic. There we go. He's down. 13 scrap, 1 missile, 1 fuel. That's good, we're going to need fuel. Oh, oh, and the outpost have rewarded me. 2 fuel, 2 missiles, and 11 scrap. Nice. Let's upgrade my shields. Shields have to be upgraded twice before the upgrade actually takes effect, as you can see. It says 20, upgrade it into a gap, and then 30, upgrade it to have 2 shield bars instead of the 1 that I have in the top left there. So I'm going to put one upgrade into that, and one when I get 30 scrap. Shields are what you're going to want quite a lot. So stress beacon there, and a store there. Let's go to the stress beacon first, hopefully get some scrap, and a good store. Once you arrive at the location of the stress goal, once you arrive at the location of the stress goal, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon, our FDL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't find the course in the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there, lead them to their destination. I think I've added a quest marker now, which is an interesting part of the quest system. It's down there, so let's go through the store anyway. Let's see what they have. They have Philip and Brian, who are both boring humans. I don't really need them. They have fuels, probably a good idea to get some of that. And I'll fix my hull. Jammer, which means they can't FTL. Lose my FTL. Or weapons that I immediately after an FDL jump. It's quite a useful one, but I don't have enough by any stretch. Right, let's go to the quest marker. And I'll make my way up to the exit. 
to arrive, your screen lights up with warnings, and nearby pirates use their advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move in to attack. If this guy's an advanced pirate, I don't know if it actually means he's any more difficult. He appears to have disabled half of my engines by the looks of it. The blue square with the cross through it would seem to suggest that. Hopefully that will be fixed. If not, I'll have to destroy them before that is fixed, which would be a bother, but oh well. There you get the first shot, take out my shield, I take out their shields, and my weapons will hit. Let's move the first laser onto their weapons. This is very easy early on. It gets hard as nails later. There he goes. Okay, let's see fuel and 21 scrap. I probably read that there was 12 scrap and 21. Uh, let's put one into shields. Yes, accept. Now I can fully power up my shields, but that means I'll have to power down something, probably my engines, in order to power up the Artemis. Uh, I can have the store, I'll do the quest marker, then I'll the exit. I'm sorry if I cut off in the middle of a sentence, I have no idea how long it's been. But obviously I'll play it till I get bored, do the same tomorrow, probably, same after that, probably. I have no life anyway, so there's no point. And else I could be doing. So yeah, if if this series gets a good response, I don't even know. What, I didn't even read that. I got 29 scrap from it, and I didn't. No one died, so I'm happy. Uh, oh, it was the delivering the quest. Help a death. Right, now it's to the rebel automated ship nearby. It's not engage, and it's patrolling on a long range system. Get to the sense station. Oh, I've for Get to the sense station. It's probably some new doesn't. Let's get the weapons straight away. It doesn't have any shields anyway. Pretty pathetic if monastery has five bars of hull. I have many, many bars of hull. This voice is a bit croaky now. I've been talking for probably the longest I've talked in a while because I don't have much of a social life. You should probably drink with me. Be a good idea. Cup of tea. Save it, see if there's a store in the next sector, and go to the exit. After the long range beacon, when the FTL drivers charge, you can jump to the next sector. Pirate in hot pursuit of an, 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 an unidentified ship. You quickly receive transmission from the pirates, stay out of this fight, it will make it worth your while. Except the bribe, two missiles, one drone part, one scrap, or be a hero. Not try to be a hero, be a hero. Pirate ship stops it to shoot and locks weapons onto your ship. Well, ooh, this guy has two weapons and I have one. Let's fuck, let's burst laser his shields and Artemis. Actually, no. Artemis his shields, burst laser his weapons, and we can do this. He only has one bar of shields, whereas I have two of them. Here we go. Good. 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 We're good. Sorry about that. Um, my brother came in. Probably heard me whispering. Uh, he's offering to surrender for four missiles, two down parts, and 13 scrap. We will kill him because we do not deal with terrorists, or pirates, or whatever. And I'll probably get off in a bit. This might not even be 15 minutes. I kind of want it to be so I can upload it and not feel cheap. Keep playing till I don't know the next sector. I could just keep playing till I die. Honestly. Fifteen scrap. Thank you for your aid. Oh, he was an arms dealer. He has two rock men for sale. I am one scrap away from being able to buy them. That's annoying. Rock men are really good at. Uh, they have a lot of health and they are immune to fire. So if your ship catches fire, they can put out. Um, he also has some systems, none of which I can afford. Um, let's buy some more fuel. I ran out of fuel once in this game, it's terrible. 
awful and horrible, so I'll never do so again, even if that means being excessively paranoid about my fuel consumption. Now I can have everything powered up, because I have enough power bars, that's nice. And next sector, I have just between the NG and the Rock. The Rock are hostile, because they are red, and the NG are green. But I do believe in the Rock sector, there is a chance of me getting a new ship. Oh no, it has to be Rock Home World, so... Uh, 